I'm Ruby and today I'm at Hatton's Lion Country Park for the National Cyclocross Championships. Let's see who I can find to talk to. Hi Beth, firstly congratulations on winning the National Cyclocross Series last Sunday. Thank you very much, I'm very happy with my win, so yeah. So how did you get into cycling? Um, so my dad was a cyclist, um, so yeah I did swim in first and then yeah, my dad kind of influenced me to ride my bike and since he started riding I loved it. So yeah, kept him going and here I am. And when did you start racing? I started racing probably when I was 10 years old. So yeah, just locally, like just at my local woods and the local circuit racing. I've done track as well. So you know, I've, I've rode all disciplines and started to find the disciplines that I really like. And cyclocross is one of them. Have you always had a love of mud? Definitely. Mud is the best, sir, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe you to attend Hells Owen Cycle Club. Do you think do you think it's a good idea for kids to join a club if they're interested in cycling? Yeah, definitely. You're in an environment with lots of other kids. Um, you've got coaches helping you out. Um, yeah, and it's an environment that you can have fun in, can't you? And you've got to have fun first. I think it's all about the fun factor. What has been your favourite race that you've ever done? Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Ever? Like, any re any discipline? Yeah. Um, when I was a junior, when I went to Mountain Bike World Championships, I really enjoyed that race and I got fifth place, so I was really happy with that one. What is the best place I've ever rode your bike? I love France. It's French Alps. I, I really like climbing to the top of a hill. I know it hurts and it's not that pleasant, but you get a really good view when you're at the top and you can see for miles. It's just beautiful. So, yeah, France. Do you remember winning your first race? Um, <laughs> do I remember winning my... I think so. I think it was a cyclocross race. Um, no, no, it wasn't a cyclocross race, it was a mountain bike race. Yeah, I was 14 and I was given a mountain bike by um, some two lovely guys in the mountain bike community. And yeah, um, I won that, it was in Thetford Forest, I think. Yeah, so. What advice would you have for someone who is my age who would love to be stood where you are one day? Just to keep on having fun, you know. Learn all the skills. Um, learn all the skills, have fun, and yeah, play with your friends, and just ride your bike for fun. And don't, just don't worry about the training yet. Yeah, it'll come when, when you've got the skills first. You'll be flying when you're older. Thank you for joining me, Beth. You're awesome. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm joined, with, I'm joined today with a young, awesome rider, Amira Mella. Hello. <laughs> How old are you when you learned to ride a bike? Um, oh, just, two or three, maybe three actually. My brother was pretty young, so I probably got started quite young as well. What music do you listen to when you are warming up? Anything with a good beat. I change it quite a lot. Sometimes I get like one song just on repeat for 20 minutes, which I quite like, but. Yeah, anything with a good beat to get me like hooked up. How many how many times a week do you go out on your bike? A lot. <laughs> um, five or six, I guess. Sometimes you do double days and you need a rest day as well. But yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> what is it like racing it in a team GB kit? Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. It's a proud moment standing on the start line in GB kits. Yeah, sometimes it can be quite intimidating with all the like really good riders, like even like Helen. But um, yeah, it's always a good moment. Do you remember your first? Do you remember your first race? Um, no, <laughs> I did triathlon a lot, so um, I've always raced really from a really young age. I can't remember my first one though. You're riding for team on form. What races? What races do we? Um, I don't know yet, that's a good question. Um, road races, I, I'm really into crits, so maybe some crits, maybe like May, June and July. Just a bit of mix this year really, I want to get some good racing in the summer. Thank you for joining me Amira, you're awesome. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.
I am here at the Cycross Nationals with the awesome rider sensation, Tom Pidcock. Hi, Tom. Hi, yeah. Firstly, congratulations for being named 2017 British Cycling Rider of the Year and, of course, winning today. Where were you when you found out you won? Where were you when you found out that you won the British Rider of the Year? Um, at home, I think. I don't remember. What was it like the first time you put on the British Cycling jersey? Um, it was. I think it was at the Youth Olympics in uh, Georgia, and it was uh, it was hot. How old were you when you first learned to ride a bike? Um, mum. Four. I was about seven. Yeah. yeah. What was your first bike? Uh, decathlon. Do you remember your first race? Um, yes, I think so. It was in um, Castle Coombe. It was just down south. It's like a motor racing circuit. I have seen you do some awesome tricks on your bike. Superman, no handed wheelie with fireworks. Which is your favourite? <laughs> um, favourite trick? I think like no hand really maybe that is a pretty cool trick i have many people i would love to be like one day helen wyman you peter sagan who did you want to be like when you were my age mark cavendish i think it, it mark, the person i want to be like changes quite often i think how old were you when you realized you're really really talented on a bike <laughs> Uh, well, I, I can't say myself that I'm really talented, can I? But maybe last season. Maybe, um, last season it showed through, I think, in results. You're going to be riding for Bradley Wiggins' team this year. What races will we see you at? Um, at the moment, Tour de Yorkshire, um, Paris Bay, possibly. There for yeah, anyone I know so far. Do you have any advice for kids watching this? Um, yeah, just have fun and uh, that's the most important thing. Thank you, thank you for joining me. You're awesome. Good luck for the rest of the season.